everybody. So today I kind of wanted to go over with you guys a little bit about the poll that I took a week ago or maybe it's been two weeks now and I posted it on my community page and you guys voted what you would like to see more of on my channel and um, the majority of you voted all of the above which included tiny house content hurricane ian content camper content and schoolie build content which is great and that really helps me a lot because i'm kind of all over the place i mean not too much i, I sometimes go on tangents but the majority of my channel is based around tiny homes alternative living um, unique different spaces you know solar power um, anything type of off-grid living and then of course the hurricane came through so you know I was filming a lot of stuff about that as well which I think is you know very helpful with my channel and my viewers who have came over now because of that and that type of lifestyle with the tiny houses and off-grid living is going to probably be a huge thing that a lot of people here in Southwest Florida um, are going to need to look into at this point with their homes being destroyed. So my question for you guys is to kind of get a little bit more in detail with what your vote was for. Um, last I spoke about it, uh, voting tiny house was in second place and talking about hurricane Ian content was in third well now hurricane Ian content is in second place and tiny house content is in third so the majority of you if we are picking specifics want more hurricane Ian content so with that being said I want to know what type of hurricane Ian content you would like to see. Are you wanting me to specifically go to certain areas where you live or your family is or something of that nature and showing showing homes like I was previously doing? Do you guys want me to go to certain towns and landmarks and show, show that type of stuff? Um, are you wanting to just show like the most destroyed and ruined places I could find? Um, are you wanting to me to talk more about like the rebuilding of the community after Hurricane Ian and things of that nature. Um, yeah, so just kind of comment down below and let me know exactly if you have specifics of what you would like to see when it comes to Hurricane Ian content. Let me know and I will do my best to try to incorporate that here on this channel. Um, and yeah, so as far as tiny house content, since both of my tiny houses that I had, my micro tiny house on wheels and my floating tiny house have since been ruined and destroyed, um, which on that topic, this weekend in a couple days, Donnie and I are going out there and uh, he's getting some heavy equipment from his work and we're going to try to flip the tiny house back over. And hopefully we can salvage enough of it. Hopefully it stays together in one piece. Um, if it does stay together in one piece, I have some plans for it coming up, which I won't tell you right now because I don't know what's going to happen. But when that video comes out, which will be either this coming up weekend or maybe like the following Monday, depending on how fast I can get the, get the video together, so now I am obviously going to have to find different alternative tiny houses to bring into my channel. Um, I still have my camper, obviously, one of my campers. My other little A-frame camper got destroyed too and completely submerged underwater, which would have been my micro tiny house if I would have brought it to the place where I keep my camper. Um, I have my stuff in different areas all over the all over the map because I don't necessarily I mean I have a ground zero but the city doesn't allow me to keep my property on my own property so yes I kind of have my things dispersed everywhere here and there but um, so some of my ideas that I had for what I might want to do in the future is possibly doing a shed the tiny house conversion which i started doing one of those probably six years ago and i had some issues come up 
with my health that I wasn't able to finish that project and I kind of wish I would have followed through with it but I didn't so I am looking into possibly doing that again there is several shed places here in town that I could go to and do some walkthroughs and show you the different types of sheds that are available here and give some ideas on how we could turn them into tiny homes and how we could place things and where the kitchen and all that stuff could go um, I also enjoy my DIY projects as well. I hope you guys enjoy them too. So I have a lot of different DIY projects in mind that I have on my list to do of videos. One including um, doing an outside uh, patio type of rebuild here at my camper. Since I'm going to be staying here at the campground a little bit longer than I anticipated, I want to try to make it as homey as possible and I love being outdoors so why not make it super cute, right? And also I was thinking about doing a complete tour of the inside of my camper. I know I did certain videos of the renovations as I was going along but I kind of fell off the bandwagon with that when the hurricane hit, it threw me off but I could do a complete full tour to show you kind of what my whole camper looks like and where I keep things. I've got my short bus, shuttle bus, that I have that I wanna get over here and start working on again. So that's to come up soon in later videos. So, and then if there's anything that you guys like and wanna, wanna see here on my channel as far as tiny homes go, let me know, comment down below, be like, hey, I really wanna see this type of tiny house stuff. Or, hey, I really love, you know, seeing how you use your solar power and anything. Anything that you guys have that you want and obviously the majority rules. Um, so, yes, I guess that's, that's basically it. So, Hopefully you guys can give me some good answers here that I can run with and make some really good content for you. Also, before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys that I started a Patreon account and I will leave the link down below if you guys want to become a patron and uh, I think I have like, I just set this up last night so I'm not exactly sure how it completely works but there are three different tiers that you can pay monthly. There's a $5 tier, $10 tier, and a $25 tier. And each tier includes, um, you know, different bonuses or things that extra that you guys will get. And one of them includes doing live chats with me. And um, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, please, I will link the link down below in the comments and also in the description. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will see you all next time. Probably we will be flipping the tiny house over the next time I see you. So until then, peace. Holy crap. Who is it, Penny? What the? Oh, now there's three? What the hell? <laughs> and you're all wearing boots. What are you guys doing? Oh, what are you doing? Trick and treating? <laughs> Randy, who is it? Daughter. Okay, perfect. Now you gotta get yours on and then I'll tell you when to how to go up. 
go up a little bit more if you can. Yeah. Okay, you guys look forward. All right. One, two, three, cheese. <laughs> 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 Are you hemorrhaging? <laughs>